Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to City Skylines, where last time we built the space elevator to get in millions of tourists a day, so that we could encourage them to spend their money in our tourism district and increase our profits, which is always the goal in our city. And so far so good, Scamland's doing pretty well. But profits are not, we're down to about $420,000 per week, which is... Nigh unacceptable. But don't worry, I have a plan and it's gonna change soon. And if you're excited for this, remember to leave a like. And today's plan is to get back into industries. The lifeblood of our city that's making us all of our money. Well, at least the vast majority of it. And we're gonna be getting into a new industry. The fishing industry. There's life in those waters and we must harvest it for profit. So, there is a fishing industry DLC, and we can go ahead and go into the water and scoop up different type of fish. Apparently we have some salmon over here, anchovies for days, and then over here by our water siphon, we have some tuna and shellfish as well. Then on the other side of our city, wow, lots of shellfish, but also poop. And I don't think there's anything that survives the poop wave, so... <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be fishing much over here. Oh, but also we have a river going through, and that has some stuff as well. Interesting. But I think today we're gonna be focusing on this area. Lots more space, lots more fish. Let's see what we can do. And first off, looking at the terrain heights and things here, I'm trying to figure out how there are different types of fish in places. Like, why is this all anchovies? And I think it's just because it's like shallow, kind of still water. And then by the coast, we just have salmon. And it's like, okay, so it's like shallow flowing water. Over here, deep flowing water is tuna. And then deep kind of still water must be shellfish. Yeah, there's not a lot of movement going on there. So I think that's what's up. So we can artificially create fish zones just by terraforming a bit. So we'll spend a little bit of money and we'll kind of make an artificial, what is it, trench area, I guess? Something like this, maybe a little bit smaller, make it a little bit artsy, you know? And now immediately, aside from the flooding we're about to cause, there should be fish. Show me the fish. Whoa, that's freaking trippy, man. What? Tuna are just like, it's go time. And then suddenly, no, nah, it's bad time. Yeah, that is absolutely crazy. But you can see it's definitely a lot of shellfish. Like, they're all underwater in the deep. And then the fast moving water is quickly making like a tuna zone. But that's actually just the waves. The tuna are surfing. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, we got our shellfish zone, and we can easily expand on that if we want. We have enough salmon over here, and anchovies forever. So let's try and make like a tuna zone. We need deep, fast flowing water like over here. Well, we can artificially make that, I'm pretty sure. Just with a little bit more terraforming. Time to make a river. What do we do? We're gonna go up in here. Yes! River time. It's gonna be kind of backwards for now, but soon it'll work. Just have that go all the way out. And have this go all the way to here. Maybe to like over here. And then we'll just have like a waterfall here made out of fresh water outlets. And we are going to need a lot of fresh water outlets. All of them. All right. Pour the sippy drink into the horrific pit. Do it now. Wow, this is horrific. It's fine, it's fine. We can pretty it up a little bit later. <laughs> Here comes the artificial tidal wave. That's gonna hit the normal tidal wave flood. And we are getting tuna in the zone, yes? No? Tuna, come back! Wait. Oh, we're getting tuna in this way. Ah, oh, that's just the flooding though. I guess then we're just gonna have to wait for all of this to flood and then we will get tuna? Well, technically we already do have tuna, but this is all gonna disappear once the flooding stops here. So we have to wait 
The tuna is temporary. Absolutely temporary. And now it's all gone. <laughs> it's all gone. I redesigned this to make it look a little bit better. It still looks like a dumpster fire, essentially. But it has a cool name, though. Mount Floodmore. Yes. But yeah, there's just not enough flow rate. I've tried to make, like, the end kind of like a, a nozzle, I suppose you could call it. Try and increase the flow rate, but it ain't working. But I will continue to mess around with this. We will have the tuna. Hopefully. Also, we need to make this wide enough for, like, ships to get through. Actually, you know what? I don't even know how any of this DLC works. <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. I know there's the different fish types. We'd be messing around with that, but what do we do? How, how does any of this actually work? So we go to here, we go to the fish tab, and we have fishing routes, and this is how you direct the boats to go over certain areas. So like we'd send like a shellfish ship over this to get the shellfish, tuna ship hopefully up here to get that, etc. Then we have harbors, uh, low capacity fishing boats that can catch all types of fish, okay. We have anchovy fishing harbors, dedicated to catching anchovies, the high catch rate and high capacity. Okay, so I'm picking up what's going down here. This is the literal catch roll. <laughs> and then uh, we go to the specialized things that are way more efficient. Gotcha, gotcha. Salmon, okay. Shellfish, Roger. Tuna, we will have you tuna. And then just fish farms. Fish farms can be used to grow and gather high yields of fish. Oh, so we can just ignore everything and we can farm them. Interesting. Oh, and all of these look different too. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Oh, I like that a lot. We can kind of make our own like fishing village or something. Which one's this, salmon? I like the salmon one. Did we even look through everything though? No, so we had like the fish farm, we have a seaweed farm. Okay, and an algae farm. And of course these farms do not work if there is water pollution. So yeah, we have to build them over here for now. And finally, we have a fish market, which sells the fresh fish to the people, and a fish factory, which turns the fish into something that can be sent to commercial zones, like sushi. And I want some sushi now. That'd be freaking great. It'd be even better, though, to have more tuna. Ooh, hey. Looking like it. Good. A little bit of fast flow rate here. Hopefully permanently. That would be ideal. Okay, we're, we're good to go. We're good to go. This is not... Yeah, we'll have to monitor that. Anyway, yeah, I want to actually make a fishing village. That'd be kind of cool. So let's just carve out a space right over here. Why not? We don't really have much other room over here. We have the big ships over there. This area, nah. This will be good. And we have the highway connections right there. So let's do it. We'll kind of make it like a little inlet or a bay or something. Okay, so a good start here. We can make like a nice little town in here as well. It'll be kind of quaint until we hyper-industrialize. So let's just try and have at least one of each type of fishing harbor. So we'll just have the normie one out here to get all the fish. Anchovies around there. And deeper into the bay, we just build the other ones. And tuna, you better work. And then the farms. I guess we'll kind of have them over this way. What do you mean shoreline request? What? Oh, there's so much, oh. <laughs> that was terraforming. Of course there's gonna be crazy amounts of flooding. Whoops, it's fine, it's fine. See, the water's gone now. Don't go backwards. Quickly build them before the water comes back. Don't worry about the flooding. You wanted the water to be built. Now you're gonna complain about flooding? Okay, dude. And something there, all right. Well, clearly that's gonna need a little bit of work. That's not too bad, but you know, actually it kind of is. So let's drastically fix that so it doesn't look awful. Good idea, you better believe it. You better believe it. And also, I place things actually kind of rationally, like the tuna fishing harbor over by the river where the tuna's supposed to be. And then the rest who cares, right? There's like a little inlet, we have nice like, road, and I kind of gave this place a really weird shape because it's gonna be like a small town. Like small towns, they're not gridded out the wazoo. They have their own like vibe going on. And I like the vibe that's going on here. 
Not bad. So, how's the river looking? Different again. You better believe it. The tuna disappeared and <laughs> now there's only this amount. But I've made it consistent. So it's like a big pool and all the water rushes down here, rushes to here, where it's super deep, then goes out this way. So there is tuna. It's the smallest amount for like this insane project. Which not only costs a ton in terraforming, but also these outlets here cost $320 a week each. All for <laughs> that amount of tuna. So we'll see if that was worth the investment smile. You know what? Let's test this out. Let's send out the tuna ships. And I got most of the path already built because I wanted to see if the ships could get through. But it seems pretty simple. Like it's just like making a road essentially. Except the road can only go to and from this one location. And it's flooded? It's fine. You're gonna get a little bit wet at the harbor, don't complain. Now then though, with that all connected, the power and the water in... Sheep? Sheep? Hello? Sheep. Sh what do you mean you don't have power? I just added the power in. What? It does have power. Why is it being a whiner? I don't understand. Oh, because the little power thing there was flooded. Fair enough. Hey, who cares? We got a ship. Look, tuna fishing boat. Go into the great abyss. Catch the fish. TBL DB83. Why doesn't it have a cool tuna fish name? It's a tuna fishing boat. <laughs> oh man. Also, what a very scenic view. All right, slow down to catch some tuna. And then once it's out of the tuna zone, Speedy Gonzales back home. All right, how much tuna did you get? 10% of a full load? Really, 11%. That's not really efficient, is it? Nope, looks cool though. I wonder, can we, can we try some stuff? What if this came through here and we added in more? Oh god, it's such a small space. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, a bit better now. Thoughts? Yep. Dance, ship. Dance. Don't crash into the wall. Well, it got to 13% for this ship. Okay. All right, so it's still terrible. <laughs> Maybe the next ship will be a little bit better. You, you were the chosen one. Show me the profits. Okay, it's loading. It's catching tuna. 8%, 9%, 10%, 12. Okay. Could we get like 25% loaded? Maybe? No. Oh, okay. 13%. Okay, bye. Didn't want profits anyway. Oh, and great, everything just randomly decided to flood as well. You just gotta love it. <laughs> gotta love it. Oh, man. Even the building here is telling me, it's like, hey, fishing route efficiency is low. Okay. But hey, maybe somehow it won't matter. Maybe we'll be okay in the near future. Who knows? Let's hope and dream, Smile. In the meantime, let's build out the rest of this town here. So I want like a little bit of a town, so like the fishing places can have workers. That would be pretty ideal. Then I have a little roundabout here that will connect somehow to the highway. Don't worry, that'll be fine and fixed later. And there we go. So there's a way in and out of the town. And yeah, we wanna make this a little homey, a little quaint, until we start to like hyper-industrialize the fishing zones. Oh, but wait, 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 screw the town. Screw the town. The most important thing is the fish factory thing, or whatever that thing was called. What is it? Literally the fish factory thing. <laughs> we need a bunch of these in. So it's all these uh, harbors here. We're probably gonna need at least three of these. At least three, maybe even four. And they're not like the, the biggest things in the world, so that's fine. Fish, commercial goods, okay. 14 freight trucks per week. Each harbor can handle 12 freight trucks, so if these are actually efficient, then it's like a one-to-one -one harbor to factory. Interesting. I can get pretty crazy pretty quick. And then the fish market. How's this look? Looks pretty gross. <laughs> oh man, imagine the smell though. Oh. Look, I like seafood, but like, dude, this, this would be horrific. Oh my gosh though, look at how big these fish are. They're pretty much the size of a person. Jeez, that's a big fish. But anyway, now that I see the size of these things, I think I can properly plan this town a little bit better now. And there we go, so a bit of a different shape and we have a bunch of fish factories in. 
probably not enough of them, but we're gonna see how it all works out once we get it all up and running. And we have the fish market over here. Zoning wise, it's just gonna be a lot of low density uh, houses. These are just like the fishing people getting the fish. That's kind of it. We don't need to be super concerned. Except for by the fish market, we do not want people living there, so we're just gonna make that all commercial zone. The commercial people, they can handle it. But man, if you're working at a harbor and then you lived next to a fish market, and you just had to keep smelling the same smell your whole life, yeah, I could imagine people would probably quit and turnover would be high, and turnover isn't good for profits. So that's basically the zoning. Over here by the fish factories, well, there's not gonna be any like shoppers around here, so we'll just zone it as industrial. And then, of course, we need the dumpsters, which we'll have back here. Can't build in water? Psh, my garbage trucks can swim. Oh yes, and of course, a crematorium. We'll just have that by the dumpsters as well. So that's good. And other basics that we need. We'll build a little schoolhouse, nice and quaint. High school, you can have that by the factories, right? Sure. High schoolers, fish factory, harbors. I'd say that checks out. Teenagers don't even know what deodorant is half the time, so they can handle any smell. But now things are all ready to go, except for the harbors. So let's set up their fishing routes and get the money rolling in. So reconnect that up. And what are these harbors again? Fishing harbor, so this can go literally anywhere. So we'll set up that one last. Anchovies. Well, that can go literally anywhere. The entire sea is apparently just full of anchovies, for whatever reason. Uh, where's a salmon one? Shellfish. Okay, that one's kind of important. So that has to go to the deep water that we created earlier. So we'll just go straight this way. Try and keep the ships in the shellfish zone. <laughs> I hope they can do a cool 90 degree turn. That'd be awesome. Okay, back to here. Well, that's pretty straightforward. And where's the salmon one though? Salmon, there you are. The big thing is, can we actually have the shipping lanes just join up? No, that's unfortunate. Can the shipping lanes cross each other? Yes, okay, so that's great. Well, the ships are gonna all crash into each other, sure, but like, <laughs> that makes setting up this whole bay and industrializing heavily later on a lot easier. We can just do that, boom. And this was just a normal harbor. I can just go boop, straight out of dodge. As can the anchovy fishing harbor. Now we can release the fleet. Go ships, collect the fish. Oh, and, oh, that's kind of cool. Every harbor has like a unique little ship. Oh, it's so fate. I think this is the default fishing harbor, so it's already fishing right now. And actually, that's kind of neat. The ships go faster when they're going out to the fishing area, and then they slow down once they get there. Ooh, wow, wow, look at that one. That one's so cute. Just a normal fishing boat? Nice. This one's for shellfish? Okay, that's crazy. You know what this reminds me of, actually? There used to be this crab fishing show called Deadliest Catch. It was so good. And this looks like one of those ships that catch the crabs. Wait a second, shellfish. Are crabs a shellfish? Are they a fish? Bruh. Wait, wait, no, I gotta Google this. This is very important. Oh, and yes, yes, okay, good. Thank you, Google. They are technically sh shellfish, good. I'm gonna presume that lobster are also shellfish as well. I'm just thinking here, like, look, we have our posh area of the city, and you better believe they are going to want fresh lobster and crap. So I just wanna make sure that we're catering to them. The shareholders are very important to me. Just as important as our profits. And with this little setup and little town building up here, how are they looking? Do we have like a budget tab for this? Not tourism. Da, 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 da. Fish. Huge expense, $5,000 and we're making literally nothing. Oh, wait, <laughs> that's because the town's flooded again. Where does this water keep coming from? The ocean? Stop, water belongs here, it's the fish. Wait, if the town's flooded, does that bring the fish into town? No. Oh, there's a little bit of salmon. Okay, no, that's silly. Okay, town, unflood, make money, chop chop. Okay, looking better, budget. Where are we at? Fish, wow, okay. 13, 14,000 dollars. 
5,000 expense. That is a good ROI. 10,000, pretty much $10,000 profit. Wow. What is this? Oh, warehousing. Fair enough. Okay. That's very, very good. That is insane profit for how little we have here. Also, the tuna is like super low efficiency as well. 20%, okay, but still like terrible. <laughs> So, if we optimize this, we could be making like hundreds of thousands of dollars. So clearly that's the next step. And unfortunately I know the truth. That one low efficiency tuna fishing harbor is not part of an efficient system. So, Rip the root and also is a massive endeavor. Yep, there was something, there was an attempt, but... <laughs> That is not working nor anywhere worth the price. So let's flatten it out and forget about it. Wait, I can't forget about it. The water doesn't exactly just disappear. Uh, it kind of comes back. So there's gonna be just a little bit of flooding. Maybe, maybe just a giant tidal wave. <laughs> so water builds out of the ground. Oh, the little harbor town. Eh, they're used to getting a little wet. It'll it'll be fine. Oh, and XD, check this out. Now there's tuna appearing. Psh, silly. Oh my god, wow! All right, they're gonna get a, a little wet. This better not cause my factories to collapse or I'm gonna be upsetty. Spaghetti. Oh no. <laughs> It's like revenge of the fish. We went into their sea. And now their sea is going into our town. We have become the fish. <laughs> Cars just flowing through buildings. <laughs> Can we fish our own people out of here? Do we have emergency services? Ah, it doesn't matter. We'll just get new people. It'll be fine. Oh my gosh, though. Oh my god. I didn't think that it would be this bad. Oh my, it wiped out half the town. Oh no. Revenge of the fish. Half, did I say half the town? The entire town. Oh wow, did we lose anything important? Nope, the money's still good. Money's still good. Commercial district, largely okay. Okay, no super valuable assets lost. We lost about, I suppose like 300 people, but again, the value things are still in place. It's fine. No, the money. Very unfortunate. Okay. Oh wait, that was only round one. There's a second tidal wave coming in. Oh no, round two, baby. <laughs> you thought it was over. It was just the beginning. Wait, are our factories safe? Uh, probably. Yeah, we're gonna lose a lot of money because the highway is getting washed out. We're probably gonna lose a couple trains here. I'm sorry, I just wanted tuna. I just wanted some tuna. No, so much money lost. Over tuna. What a disaster. Anyway, uh, we will leave this to its devices. We have to recoup our losses. Let's get building. So, since most of the ocean here is anchovies, we will just build the most efficient thing we have, the anchovy fishing harbor. And we'll just build them all along the coast. I kind of considered actually building like an inlet for all the harbors to be going here and reuse that river, but no, nah, it would have cost too much. Just No, I, I just had to get rid of that river. It was an abject failure, had to go. This though, oh boy, is this gonna be profitable as anything. And then we just need this to go over to here. Maybe I'll re-terraform a lot of this and rebuild a bit of the town. <laughs> or I mean the entirety of the town. Or I had the second thoughts. Instead of building everything back, I left a little bit destroyed so the people know not to trust the fish. And also they won't feel as bad when they see the massive fleet destroying the ocean. It's all part of a tactical game. Anyway, we're just getting anchovies now. It's how the world was built to get anchovies. So we will. So release the fleet. They need power? No, they don't. Don't lie to me. Here, quickly. There we go. Happy. <laughs> I told you, they didn't need no power. They're excited to go. Our navy is ready. 
ready to plunder the sea of all that it can. Look at all those boats. Look at all the ships. <laughs> it's so organized over here. So chaotic over there. Oh man. How many ships are in each harbor? Can there be more? Oh, there is more. It's just a constant fleet. Man, I wish there's a little bit of military in this game. That would be so fun. But this is as close as we get. Economic military, essentially. There's so many. We're gonna get so much money. Oh man, I can't wait to check out the budget once these guys start to return. How are they looking too? Oh man, they're gonna be all fully loaded by the time they get back. Oh yep, already. It's like, let's go. Money is on the horizon. Quick ships, quick. <laughs> see how much we're gonna make. Uh, while they're doing that, I super quickly looked over policies as well. And I noticed that there are fishing policies. Like making everybody get a fishing license. And that increases all residential tax income by 5%, which is like, phew, huge. But it also reduces happiness and increases crime by a bit. But we have jails for that. And citizen happiness has always been like max, so who cares? And then also, there was sustainable fishing, which you wouldn't think we would do in our city, but no, it's profitable. Decreases fish yields by 10% and increases fishing harbor upkeep by 15%. But the big thing from it is it increases citizen happiness by 15%, which is whatever, but it increases commercial income from goods by 5%, which is huge. Because although it's under the sustainable fishing tab, we are making an insane amount of commercial goods in our factories and unique factories, and I am pretty sure it'll apply to these as well. So I'd say it'd be worth it. Also, there's gonna be an accident here anytime now, but we won't be here to see it. <laughs> All the ships. This is crazy. Okay, anyway. Yeah, let's finally see what our budget's looking like. I'm sure these are doing well. 100% efficiency. Trucks moving. They are grooving. What are we looking at? How? We are losing money now. Is this just because of tuna? Is tuna really that valuable? Really? Oh, no. Now the money's coming in. Now the money's coming in. <laughs> the trucks are arriving. Okay. I like the sound a lot. Can our factories keep up? Yeah, no. They're gonna fill up pretty quick. We should build another factory. Keep up with the new influx of fish. Heck, let's just build two. We're probably gonna need them. Goodbye, all the houses. A little bit of road redesign. And things are back to normal. And profit-wise, how we doing? And the profits are looking way better too. Oh yeah, they are flying now, brother. Good, the fish have paid for themselves in spades. In fact, that's one of the better industries we have now. Fish. And aside from all the people dying, I'd say that this project was an incredible success. And I hope you guys enjoyed. But that's gonna be all for now. So have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye.